the biggest problem and the biggest mistake people make with freemium is they think about it as a part of their pricing or revenue model rather than as part of their acquisition model. And the reason it's part of your acquisition model is because you are essentially taking your product, which is the best content you have, and you are giving part of it away for free as content. You want to think about it almost like a premium ebook because freemium is not something that all of a sudden solves any part of your business problems if done right, except for acquisition. So the best freemium plans, they're typically one to two years into a business's life cycle. Once you understand your customer, once you understand how to convert them, and all of a sudden you want to kind of open up that top and that middle of the funnel. And so that's, that's the thing you got to understand. And with freemium, you're able to, the, the benefit isn't like the first 30 days or the first two weeks. The benefit is you're nurturing that lead over time. So, so much of sales is about timing. And so with freemium, what I'm able to do is if it's not the right time to sell, I can nurture that lead or I have the right to nurture that lead, you know, every month, every single day, depending on what your product looks like. And then when they start to think about, oh, I need this solution or I need to do more with this, that's when they convert to being a paying customer. And so it's putting the, the onus of conversion mostly on the customer with probably some nudges and less on like some artificial sales process or artificial free trial that is just based on time, which, you know, kind of pushes a lead to a point of conversion. And then if they're not ready, like you lose that, that conversation.